Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Emma. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Star Trek fan films. What? Yes. <laughs> and I have a very special guest I would love to introduce to you, Sam. Say hello and tell hello. me who the hell you are. I mean, I know, tell them who the hell yes. you are. I'm a fan filmmaker, as you said, Sam McCockins, who's been in this for eight years now. Part of the Trek Yards YouTube channel. If you love Trek ships and tech, you might have known my face through the dark nights of, of boredom on YouTube, <laughs> as I've done many thousands of videos over the years. Uh, and now I'm doing this big collection of, of shorts called Trek Shorts, of varying eras and degrees of coolness, and uh, it might relate to you in some way. Hmm. I can say that they're extremely fun and engaging to watch. So first of all, everybody should go and catch up because they're very good. And also they're shorts, so you can binge through them really quick it t turns out that for some reason i'm involved and uh yeah sam was kind enough to give me uh, a little role in the fan films so ta-da i have surprise. mentioned surprise i've mentioned a few times that i've been away like filming a thing that i can't reveal yet so this is that so <laughs> if you're not a star trek nerd sorry <laughs> I know there are Star Trek nerds in the audience that will be as gassed as I am. So you got one really massive project on the horizon, which yeah, you're going to be filming, filming soon. Like literally a couple of days away, pretty much a week away from now, which is mm -hmm. why we're doing this as an announcement to kind of let everyone know so you can then share stuff. Other people can, we just announced two other actors last week because it's like a seven person, the, the, the big film, very expensive, very time intensive, very big, but boy, satisfying. Uh, hopefully, when it comes out. It's the big one. It's going to be awesome. It's uh, it's like a, a combination of... A culmination of, like... It's could like be the, even a convergence, if you... A, you could you, you might say a convergence. Which you should it's say, because like, the title. Yeah. Yes, that is probably what you should say. But it's it's the Avengers Assemble of, like, the Star Trek fan film world, isn't it? That was our working so, title when we, when we invented it, Star Trek Avengers. But it's, uh, it's going to be very seriously epic um before that we've got some little s some little fun uh kind of introductory pieces do you want to tell us a little bit about those so it wasn't just so much about bringing you on as as a as a hello i'm emma welcome to star trek <laughs> no it was actually a character uh, trying to trying to give you something fun to play an arc to have because this big branching series of shorts i'm doing it, it's character based it's arc based it's building to a point it's having you know i can do digital de-aging and aging which is kind of surreal so i can put people in their 20s and their 50s and allow you to kind of play more of the arc and so we made some 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 smaller things to kind of set you up and build you into the era and, and know some people have these this this history which then comes to play in convergence which i was like yes we should make sure uh emma's in that and then kind of continue that arc in a, in a smaller way because you're not necessarily the star of that one but it's a big ensemble piece. It's this big giant thing and yet has everybody in there. We have some small films too, which are, you know, visually like, oh, that's different. Oh, that's different. And also, oh, that's really sad. <laughs> there's some yeah. drama. Yeah, there's there's some some highs and lows. Um, I felt the emotional roller coaster recording. <laughs> I saw it on your face when I was filming it. <laughs> which is a relief, really, because mm. that's kind of what you want. Yeah, so I, I am playing Ensign Laura Reed who's uh, a, a newbie science officer and uh, starts off very excited and full of hope and then some stuff goes down. Some stuff happens. <laughs> We've already said that I've got a role in Convergence, so mm -hmm. we know that, like, mm -hmm. nothing too terrible It's That's true, yeah. But um, it's, it's such a lovely, like, character piece to play because of those highs and lows. Um, it's it's a really fun introductory like thing and uh, and just getting to be in the Star Trek world is really cool. Uh, can we talk about some of the props and costumes and stuff that I oh have gotten God. to play with? <laughs> because it's so cool. I, I think you're referring to this one in particular, which I'm yeah. really happy to have for a different video. What is it, Emma? You tell oh us. Oh my God! Show, show the geek card. It's the most beautiful uh, tricorder. This is TNG era, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just perfect. Look mm -hmm. at the lights, even just like on the view here. I don't want to put it down, but at the same time, I don't want to touch it 
because it's so fancy and expensive. <laughs> and in fact, if you recall, it was damaged when it came to us. So it has now since yeah. been fixed. The, yeah. It turns out the because uh, when it turns on, this is like I'm telling you live now. Uh, there's a little magnet in the body that links to the magnet here, and this was cracked. So when we were using it, because you need it with oh. the lights, very important. And so it would kind of turn on once every three times. We got to the point where just keep it open, but the battery only lasts because they aren't meant to be used for filming because these are hero uh, uh, collector pieces made by some fans. I mean, mm -hmm. like 20 of experienced fans who've seen the originals, like really, really amazing. But you're not meant to have the batteries on and like on for 45 minutes at a time because why the hell would you if you're, it's on display on your, on your shelf? So we kind of yeah. use them in a weird way. Uh, but yeah, it works now. It's, it's fixed. <laughs> it actually always Phew. Time. <laughs> yeah, that added a level of tension to the filming. <laughs> it did. It really did. I mean, to make sure that it's working, open it. Go. Okay, it's working. Nobody touch it. Everybody yeah. go. Do it now before the battery runs out. Uh, but then that's that's just what happens when you have a very fancy, <laughs> specific... More things that work, more things that can go wrong. Yes, know. exactly, exactly. Yeah, can can we talk a little bit about costumes and stuff? Because yeah. this was very a... exciting for me as well. Because part of the original idea was to bring you down and, and, and see... Well, first of all, what do you fit into? Because we have a certain amount of costumes yeah. that fit both genders of different sizes, and obviously everyone has their own unique shape and size. So what fits one lady of five, four, my love? You know, it, it's variable. And yeah. so we worked out... I wrote something to film. You know, let's see what we can do. And then hope to fit into something of that era, TNG. And then we kind of did like a long, you know, uh, fashion shoot. It was, in essence, what it was. This rack yeah. of clothes. And then, right, you try this on. And this, and then, oh, and, and it was amazing to see what you suited. Because everyone suits different styles. Yeah. It's like, we both agreed, no, nah, you don't quite, no, no, no offense to you, obviously, but you don't quite look best in this era. And this one, like, damn, that sharp. Doesn't make any sense for you in this, but I like how, like how it suits you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How's that for you? I mean, to, to, to sort of live it all of a sudden, abruptly, like, super oh my God. Super fun. I'm old on Super, on. super fun. It, it feels like being quite, quite like a proper actor, you know? <laughs> Like, and like I, I've seen those costumes so much on screen that being able to like wear them and then see that in camera as well is just it's too cool. And I'm like, I'm like, I want all of them, but also I need uh, a million billion pounds to have everything. So <laughs> it's a really just nice opportunity just to like. Like you say, have a little fashion show and try that stuff on. Really, really fun and very cool. And I do just think that like the costumes we've got for the different, they look great on camera. Is all I would say. We've been in this for about two years of the Trek shorts, and then further back for other films. We had sort of a a library of things, you know, and just personal fan props I happen to have over the years. Mm -hmm. But from doing this, we did some sort of crowdfunders to raise money for more props and costumes because you know they just cost. It, it, you know, hard cost. Like if you fly someone in, you can't, it's a fan film, but you can't get them to donate the plane trip. So things just cost. And so we've been building them. And then as you build them for one film, but as we get amazing actors like yourself and someone called Alexa Brown and, and other such, you kind of think, well, this needs to be a thing. This seems to think, oh, and let's use the things we've already got in a more diverse way. And now suddenly this prop bought in theory for one film can be truly utilized. And that production value, that, that top tier, gets to be shared um, and, and creates a big wide universe. And then you kind of, if you do it for two years, you end up having most of the props and most of the costumes, but then it opens up all the doors and you can have insanely, you know, in Convergence, there's one scene flashback for a character. And it's like, right, get changed, right? Do your head differently. And okay, we've done that. But because we can, and it adds something thematically that it's worth doing, yeah. et cetera. Some, some crazy little things. Um, and I, I can, say that you read it you've, you've seen the script in convergence which you're going to be two versions of laura yeah Can yeah you tease us to to that from what you got from the story <laughs> try and find how much to say without mm -hmm. revealing too much because we know there's a future ship yes we know we know there's a future so that we know so that. yeah I, I get to play ensign laura reed now and uh a few years in the in the future which is kind of interesting because there's a little bit of well, there's a lot of a development there if you, if you consider how fresh and mm -hmm. sort of uh, green Laura is in the sort of present timeline. Um, the difference that those years would make in terms of confidence and just, uh, you know, um, understanding and knowledge and reaction to a high pressure situation. Uh, I think that's going to be really interesting and cool for me. As a director, you know, if I give you a sort of challenge, it's a case of right now, be totally different five minutes apart you know once you change now yeah. be different 
be older and and uh, our lead actress Nimran, you know, I've had her play. She's twenty eight, like like me. I guess twenty nine next week when this comes out. Jesus, um, having her then play twenties young. Uh, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, have her play twenty two, thirty, fifty, and actually expect a difference in acting. But then, what if you can direct and put it through? It all comes together. Uh, and I, I, I will say, uh, did you ever watch the um, David Mitchell uh, sketch show? Uh, the Mitchell and Webb show. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Do you remember the event? The sketch for the yes, event. Yes. The event. I, I feel like convergence. There's the there's the event that happens between now and then, and we don't want to talk about the event. But the event happened, and it's pretty. Uh, we're all scarred by the event. I'm so glad you get that. It's so much better if you get it. Yes. No. That's a perfect analogy. <laughs> Uh, do you want to shout out the channel and everything? G- give us, give people some things to look at, uh, to keep an eye on for for when the exciting stuff is popping up. Well, we have the Power Five Four Three Fan Films channel or Fan Production channel. Can't remember which one of those two, and that houses, I believe, at this point seven films varying from Star Trek to Stargate because I do both. I was watching my first film and I did an anniversary film just this year, so it's uh, we're kind of doing both for a little bit. And in that, you can see uh, Emma's co-stars. Uh, from the various films, one of her captains and one of her friends and, you know, in various places in the channel as well. Uh, and there'll be update videos as we go because we're filming Convergence on June 11th to 13th. 10th, it's the Friday to the Monday of that weekend. Um, it's two films, in fact, actually break it down. And like I said, multiple cast rotations throughout the, the times. Um, we're doing this these announcements so we can have Emma and proudly share anything because... Who the hell knows what random moments are going to happen behind the scenes or in front of the camera and just be able to share that will be really fun because it'll be such an experience. Um, and then uh, well, your story is not done. We've got other things in mind, both in the Trek and maybe not Trek. Who knows? Because before I stop doing these films, what other cool things can you do? Is there any? Uh, is there anything I can shout out for you? Twitter handles, J- I- Patreon. I'm very Googleable. Uh, if, if, you search Sa- if you search Samuel Cockings, it's search me Samuel everywhere. Samuel Cockings. Or Power 543, that's mostly... It's me and some, I think, Taiwanese guy. I oh. think. It's... Anyway. Mostly me, but not always me. Mostly me, though. Power it should be pretty clear that it's you. You are... Yeah. I'll drop all your links in the description as well yeah. so everyone can uh, find you. And, you know, my, my web show, Trek Yards, you can support any way you want to as well. If you do enjoy Star Trek, we have guest interviews with lots of different people from the different shows. We've interviewed... Michael Mann from Lower Decks, Aaron from Prodigy, we interviewed Dave Blast from Picard, we've interviewed Patrick Stewart as well. That's 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 a whole long story. Uh we'll go to another time, I'm sure. Uh and and you know, if you like the tech, the ships, the the deep dives on, on the, the current day shows, because we're doing analysis per week, there's a new show, because Trek is gifting us with weekly new shows, which is insane. And we break down very specific niche things. You know, if there's a new transporter effect, we'll compare it to all the ones in the in the history of transporters with the graphics. So we don't have to talk about it. We can show it and make deductions, etc. And uh, that the, the the teams both love that and hate it because we notice stuff. But also when when they do it great, we say they do it great. They they love us for that. Uh, Mike once said, "We fear Trekyard." It's like, oh, don't fear us, Mike. <laughs> That's such a high compliment, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you watch, the, it'll be in an interview with him. If you watch, both me and Stuart, it's like, how do you respond to that? It's so nice, but so bad. Oh, thanks, Mike. We, we appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you like that sort of stuff, it's very deep dive stuff. Um, I mean, we've been called nitpicky sometimes, but it's because no one else goes in depth. We do. That's kind of the point. But it's very sort of impartial and breaking down. And and you know, even if you don't like an episode of Trek, you can enjoy a design in that show or one character. We break it down that sort of way. It's not all just good or all bad. It's uh, balanced is always a, a good approach. Google Sam and find him everywhere. And uh, the imposter that is out there and uh, follow Trek Yards. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Sam. So yeah, keep an eye out for incoming Trek fan films starring yours truly. And thank you very much for saying yes, believing in in, in me and and this this, this weird proposal that now you know it was real. You're like, oh my God, I forgot I said yes, sort of vibe. But yeah, thanks so much. It's been really a pleasure. And everyone, everyone nice working with you. Um, Everyone wants to work with you. So that's a a big compliment to you as well. So keep watching our stuff, guys, because She's lovely. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I've had a blast and uh, I I look forward to more. And uh, yeah, send us good vibes for the massive shoot that is upcoming. We'll, uh, we'll share some cool stuff from it. Thank you very much for watching. See thank you later. You.